Welcome everybody. Uh, just thought I'd show you how uh, your hive tool is probably going to end up looking after your hive inspection. It certainly isn't uh, clean. It's got lots of propolis. Um, and let me work on this focus again. It's an ongoing problem for us. So you can see this uh, propolis everywhere. Not only that, but you get your bacteria uh, any sort of illnesses that may exist in the in the hive and you share it basically you know, amongst your bees so one of the ways I like to clean um, my tools especially if it's just a one-off hive inspection if it's many hives in uh, at a time you would have a bucket um, with uh, with some bleach and you would dip it in into that little container between each hive yeah but if you're just doing one at a time you know you're doing say uh, opening up several boxes inside the hive going all the way down to the brood this is what you end up with so I like to do this process it is uh, fairly quick and easy um, and fun at the same time and this is where our lovely self-igniting switch comes in handy a simple propane bottle Turn it on. Turn the flame. You will also need uh, a rag. Or I, I actually like to use a towel because it's quite warm enough. And you just burn the entire tool. It melts the wax, it melts the propolis, um, and it allows you to then wipe it down when it's been heat treated. Nothing can really survive this heat, so it's quite safe, fun, quick and cheap, and you don't need to worry about anything else, really. So that's that. Then you grab the tool and your towel and give it a quick, quick wipe down. And you can see that it is relatively pristine, nice and clean, ready for the next job. And I won't put that into my hand because it will <laughs> it will burn. So hope you find this tip useful. Uh, it is one of the best ways to clean the the propolis and the wax off the tool. Certainly the fastest, and you have a bit of fun doing it at the same time. So. If you like the videos please subscribe we invite you to share comment and um, hopefully we'll get to see you on our next installment see you then mm -hmm.